I want so badly to be good at flying this helicopter and others like it. And luckily for me, this comes in as a ready to fly setup. This is one of the bigger, more high performance ready to fly setups that I personally own. And I really wanna make progress. I have that GPS helicopter that we flew on the channel not too long ago. It's upside down, hands upside free. Down. That's what Flip he's trying switch. to tell you. And that's great, but I really want to push my limits with this and similar helicopters. It's been a while since I've flown this, so hopefully I don't crash. Where are my helicopter guys at? Please leave a like on this video for me just getting in front of the camera trying to push my limits a little bit with this and just getting some stick time on helicopters. That bind up sounds amazing. <laughs> Wind up, I should say. Okay, let's push up throttle a little bit. We're up. Whoa. Ooh, yeah, just takes a second. She sure, scared second. me. So I am used to, sadly, flying that GPS helicopter. And what that will do is help me learn things like orientation and stuff. But I feel pretty good about that. You know, I mean, I, I still have my orientation down pretty well. But for a beginner pilot, I think that could be really handy. However, if you're wanting to progress your skills, this one is going to be one to really push your limits on. So let's just kind of cruise around a little bit. Now the wind is sadly picking up some, and that's not cool because when we left the house, there was no wind. <laughs> Go figure. And I feel really confident in my airplane abilities, but my helicopter abilities are to be desired, just, <laughs> I'll just say. So I'm just gonna cruise around for a minute because I haven't flown this in so long. Get a feel for it. I'm in complete safe and all that right now. Uh, just try to get a feel for how agile it can fly. Let's go full throttle and push forward. There's full throttle, and if I push forward all the way, it actually loses altitude, so I, just, I don't wanna do that. But it's it's way more aggressive than that GPS helicopter I flew. Yes, I'm comparing it directly to that because they're about the same size, and it's the most recent helicopter I've flown. Really, I'm just doing this a lot. I want to be better at flying, and a lot of you guys ask for helicopter content. There's just really very little out there. There's guys that can fly way better than me, but there's very little content. And it's really just because I'm not good at it. You know, we tend to do things in life that we feel a bit more confident in. And this is one thing that I am not confident in at all. Um, but I'm at sure least you're doing it safely. I'm trying, yes, <laughs> I am trying. I'm trying to fly within my limits, my comfort zone. I've got AMA in my pocket. I've got insurance to keep flying. Uh, and so, you know, if I am flying something that's out of my comfort zone, I'm going to make sure I have AM AMA in my pockets. The Academy of Model Aeronautics. And actually, guys, I think they just started their Camp AMA signups. Abby, uh, if you could, please link Camp AMA in the description box below. It's for uh, youth. It's like a youth program. Uh, I think they just finished their junior one. Maybe, I, I may be wrong about that, but the uh, Camp AMA, I think is for something like 13 to 18 year olds. And they've got a really cool um, schedule for the events all week long. Check it out, linked in the description box below. Uh, Abby, that was a really nice slow pass. That was good. I really wanna push out of this safe mode. I love that I've got it assigned to a switch. I mean, I feel good flying with it. I just need to uh, decide how I want to do that. There's a couple different ways to fly this out of safe. Let me fly up a little bit and see what I can do. Just bear with me, I might be flipping it right back into safe. Oh, the sound difference when <laughs> you get out of safe, right? Let me just see what throttle does here. And I believe I can try to roll it. I'm gonna try to do a flip on this. Oh, it's just, Ah, okay, here Should we go. Should you stand Ready? over grass? I'm gonna go really high up, really high up. <laughs> right, it feels like you're over our heads. Push it out, out some more. Out a bit further <laughs> and let's go side roll. Oh, I did it. Okay, wow. I can do that a bit lower. I can do that a bit lower. So is that all you? There's no like special There's button? There's no special button. That was just on the sticks. We're gonna do a wow. side roll a bit lower. Are you ready? Yes. Side roll. Okay, How are you and a doing left side that? roll. We're gonna do a left side roll. It's very scary. Let me it looks it so good. Thank you. Okay, left side roll. Totally nervous here, but here we go. Oh, nice. You are killing it. Good. Wow. Okay, can I do a front roll? Now, what okay. I wanna do when I do the front roll is turn the helicopter sideways and then try a front roll. 
I'm gonna do a little higher because I might lose some altitude when I do it. You ready? Yes. Oh yeah, okay, now I kicked it back into safe just because of my orientation and I can... Oh, uh -oh, is that... uh -oh, oh no! I'm definitely in safe, but I just crashed. <laughs> Your battery, I right? I think my battery died, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was so solid. It was low. You're doing so good. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was more my fault than anything. The battery got a little low. This, this is my battery telemetry and the second light was blinking. So it might've been too low to pull out of an aggressive maneuver. And I lost orientation, I kicked safe. I, I throttled up, but probably too late. Oh yeah, okay, now I kicked it back into safe just because of my orientation and I can. Oh, uh -oh, is that, uh -oh, oh, uh -oh no. I'm definitely in safe, but. <laughs> We've lost it, hello. Is anybody alive out there? <laughs> I see the blade sticking up out of the grass. <laughs> like a headstone. Oh. I was hopeful that I could just fly it again. What's wrong? The tail boom seems to be bent, but otherwise oh, it's in good shape. Let me I see. I think it came down oh. on the tail boom. Right? Ouch. Everything else looks good. But let's just, I'm not going to take off but I do want to see if it it'll back? spin up. I, I don't know. Let's just see if it'll spin up because I want to know if we stripped the gear. Okay, so stand back a little bit for safety. All I'm doing is seeing if it'll spin, if it'll rotate. Uh, I think I stripped uh, the main gear, yeah. So it, it hit hard. This is a blade helicopter, so we have spare part availability. I'm gonna take a closer look, probably need a tail boom, and probably strip that main gear, which isn't too expensive to replace. You and were doing such a good job too. That was fun, I was progressing, but that's what happens when we push ourselves out of our comfort zone and try to learn something a bit new, yes? Yes. Every guy that I see fly helicopters, as long as you're not, even the guys that just hover around and safe 100 percent of the time eventually ends up in a crash and it's good to know that you've got spare part availability they always say anything that flies has an expiration date yeah, it, so that's true. That's true. <laughs> this one has a uh, curved expiration date no, and I'm, I'm not I've, I've seen worse this is still in one solid right. piece so that's pretty good um, yeah, but just pushing myself out of my comfort zone and, and that's inevitably that's going to happen eventually so I've got to continue to do that um, nah, I don't know. That's just part of learning, right? Right. It's part of learning. Even on a day that I come out and fly something and it ends in a crash is still better than just a good day at work. So I'm still grateful for this, even though it ended in a crash. And for that, I thank God. And I just want to continue to stay humble. And, and these moments definitely keep me humble. Uh, through the nine and a half years on YouTube, we have had nothing but humble pie the entire way. And I'm grateful for that. I really am. So massive thanks to God and a big thanks to you guys for sticking with us through all of this. We're, we're not perfect. We all are, are going to make mistakes. And part of our channel is showing those mistakes and that transparency. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. If you do and you want to see more helicopter videos, we'll have a nice, better helicopter video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.